And welcome everyone to Depression to Expression. My name is Scott, and yes. <laughs> You know, I've cried on camera, I've talked about depression on camera, anxiety, but I've never spoken about what it's like to live on my own. Welcome! Now before we get into the top five reasons you should live alone at one point in time of your life, we need to talk about a sponsor. The sponsor is Berry's Tea, Orange Pico Tea, brisk and refreshing taste, a product of Ireland. To get your own box of berries tea, please call 1-800-296-2929, extension 179, and talk to Shelly. Shelly will get you a free box of berries tea for you to take home and enjoy. I know uh, my mornings are great with a cup of that. Okay, let's get down to business. I've been living alone, on my own, for almost two years now. Live in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The view's fantastic. I have the CN Tower out the window. Tip top tailors. I got the airport, the island airport here. I got the dog walkers and the baseball field down there. I'm on floor 24 and love it. Now, living alone isn't for everybody, okay? It can come with some pretty intense loneliness. At least that's what people may think. Living alone, aren't you alone all the time? Don't you feel isolated? Do you live alone because you don't get along with other people? Do you live alone because you have some strange habits and like to pee on your mattress and rub feces on the walls? Feces on the walls? Well, here we're gonna talk about the five things, the five best things about living on your own. Number one, a great part about living alone. Why you should live alone? Well, if you love music as much as I do, then you'll know that when you live alone, you can play whatever music you want at any time. Do you have some weird musical tastes that no roommate, no family member could possibly understand? Because I do. I love the bagpipes. You know how hard it is to find a roommate that would love waking up to the bagpipes? Because I do. I can play music while cooking dinner. I can play music while eating breakfast. I can play music in the background while I'm editing all these videos. It's fantastic. The place is yours. Number two, this is huge and I didn't realize it would be such a big thing until I moved out on my own and that's you can walk around naked. I didn't have curtains for the longest time in this condo and I still walked around naked. You have a building right across from me here. People could clearly see my naked body, you know? They couldn't see my because it's a little, little M&M, but they could see everything in my condo. I finally got curtains and I'm still walking around naked. This is a huge thing. Even when I would come home from work, I automatically just took my shirt off. It's very freeing. Women will take their bras off. For men or for me, you take your shirt off. It's fantastic. It is so freeing. Now, living alone, that's a huge benefit. You can walk around naked. You know, if you're living with a girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, maybe you can do that anyways. But if you're living with roommates or some other family member, you can't walk around with your just hanging out. Benefit of living alone, 100 OP. Number three, you can turn your space into place. Cool saying, right? When you, when you come into a new place, whether it be a house, condo, apartment, room, whatever, it's a space, okay? It's got four walls, maybe nothing else. With living alone, you can make that space into your own place. So you want to hang up pictures of donkeys on the wall? You can have 10, 20 pictures of donkeys. You want to put a donkey on the ceiling, a picture of a donkey? You can do that. You want to paint a wall here, or you want to put some permanent marker on it? You can do that, right? You want to put a desk right here by the window so you can do your, blah, 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 so you can do your work? You can do that, okay? Turn the space into place. What color do you want the walls? You paint it the way you want to paint it. Do you want shag carpeting? Do you want an air, a, a, a Persian rug? You can do that. You can buy that. Turning space into place is what living alone is all about, right? You get to decorate, you get to organize, you get to cook the things you want, you get to, you know, if you like Barney and you want to buy Barney sheets, you can decorate your bed that way. You like stuffed animals, you litter them all over the place. If you're a messy person, which I, I don't encourage, but if you are, well, you can make your place messy and keep it that way. You are responsible to make your place yours. Number four. We are taught and raised 
with the bathroom door closed. Nobody dares. You're supposed to shut it and lock it. And whatever happens in that bathroom, whatever goes on, behind those doors is your business and no one else will know about it. Now when you live alone, that rule somehow does not apply. Your door is the apartment house or condo door that leads into it. The bathroom door doesn't matter anymore. You can keep that baby wide open and do your business. It's a freeing feeling. We're all about expression on this channel, right? Express yourself by making the whole place into a bathroom. That didn't sound right. Just try keeping the door open. It's pretty cool. Number five, it's where you left it. When you live alone and you lose something or misplace something, that's because you put it somewhere that you don't know. That's because you lost something. When you live with other people, it's like, hey, have you seen this? Hey, I lost this. Did you move this? Hey, I, I keep the frying pan in this cupboard. Why is it in this cupboard? When you live alone, if you left the frying pan in the drawer under the sink, when you get back home, that same frying pan is going to be in that drawer underneath the sink just the way you left it. If you peed on the couch and the stain couldn't be removed, at least that's your pee stain, okay? You made the mistake and it's yours to live with. It's a very freeing feeling that what you do in your condo, apartment, house is yours. Now in all seriousness, living alone is awesome. It is pretty damn cool. Now what you'll find on YouTube, and I'll probably do another video, is uh, the worst things. The top five worst things about living alone. Why I hate living alone. Why living alone sucks. And, well, there's always two sides of the coin, right? Of course there's benefits to living alone, and of course there's benefits about living with other people. We talk about costs, we talk about socialization, we talked about sharing meals, talk about all sorts of things. This video is just one of many, probably, about my own poisonal life and sharing what it's like living alone. Um, I think it's something everyone should do at one point in their life. I really do. You get to know the real you, the you who's not always on. The you who's not trying to impress people at all times of the day. The you who may sit quietly, like right now, with no distractions, no TV on, no nothing, and not worrying about an interruption from someone. It's pretty cool. If you're thinking of moving out, maybe you're going to university or college or moving into the city, just moving out of your parents' place, Drop me a question in the comments below. Maybe I can encourage you to make that step. Maybe it is the right thing for you to do. Maybe it's not. Let's have a chat in the comments. Please let me know how you feel. Like this video, comment, subscribe over here. Okay, the link's in the description to subscribe to the channel. And the Patreon page, the link is also below. It's called Help Me. There's the Patreon page where you can support the channel by pledging $1 to $100 every month and you get some super duper duper perks that go along with your pledges and donations. I'd like to thank everyone on behalf of Depression to Expression for watching. Take care, stay strong, and keep being you.